Bum, ba, da, da. Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I'm Banjo Ben, your host here on the website to teach you how to play banjo and mandolin, but this is Guitar Week. We're doing this fun old song. Isn't that a fun melody? I just wanted to dance whenever I played it. It's called Shove the Pig's Foot a Little Further in the Fire, or some variation of that. And a lot of people say that the song is not really named after what it sounds like. That it has something to do with blacksmithing. You know, even though I'm from Texas, I like that Eastern North Carolina barbecue, that whole hog stuff. So I like to imagine that we're actually shoving a pig's foot a little further into the fire. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook here in a moment, you'll have an opportunity to come over to the website, have access to hundreds of lessons, just like my Gold Pick members do. And if you're watching this on the website as a Gold Pick member, you just have to scroll down beneath this video screen to see the rest of the video lesson segments. I've got the tabs for the two solos exactly as I played it, as well as the MP3 jam tracks. Let's jump right into this. This song is known in some circles. In other circles, it's not known at all. It's relatively new to me, but when I first heard it, I thought, man, I want to learn that. It's in the key of G. And I think the reason why I really like it is because of all the space that it has in the melody. I love those notes just hanging out there. So even when we get into that more advanced second solo, we're gonna leave some space in there, uh, even though we're kind of throwing in some triplets, things that uh, sound a little Celtic-ish. Uh, but first, let's just learn the bare bones melody and uh, maybe you can play it together with me like all the rest of the boys did. And let's go and throw the tab there, up there. We've got a pickup note on the last beat of that first measure. And coming into that first A part, and this fiddle tune is structured much like um, many other fiddle tunes. We have an A part that's eight measures long, and then you'll repeat it, and then go into a B part that has a little different melody. It's also eight bars or eight measures long. We'll repeat that. So this was pretty, pretty simple as you can see. Measure three. And measure four, you see that little note with the dot beside it? That's a dotted quarter note. So it gets a beat and a half. So if I'm gonna count measure four, there it goes. One and two and three and four and. And then in measure six, when we land on that second fret, you notice that the stem doesn't go all the way up to the note. It's a half note, it gets two beats. So one, two, three, four, okay. the whole line. Now, our first time through this solo, through the basic solo, we can pretty much keep our fingers in first position. We're gonna move up a little bit Later on, we're gonna do quite a bit of shifting to take advantage of our strong fingers. In the next line, we have some repeating. We've seen that before, right? But then we're gonna end it. And I'm gonna reach down in measure nine and grab that fourth fret with my ring finger. And that is the entire A part. I'll play that line for you. walk into the B part. But if you're playing this with your friends, you would go back to that measure three and play the A part over again. But as we go into the B part, we have a little bit more of a syncopated rhythm. So you'll need to know how to count here. We're gonna start with an eighth note and then go right into a quarter note. That's how measure 11 sounds. If I was counting it, one and two and three and four and. Measure 12. Measure 13, I'm going to use my pinky to come underneath and grab that third fret. The whole line. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Into measure 15, some repeating. Wrap it up. And then at that point, we will repeat the B part again. So that you have two A parts and two B parts. So here's what we're going to do now. If you're watching as a Go Pick member on the site, we're going to play through that straight ahead solo that we just saw very slowly together the A part and the B part. Then we're going to jump into the advanced portion and learn how to do those triplets and 
uh, cool little slides and things like that. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, I'd love to have you come over to the site, join as a GoPick member, access this lesson, hundreds others.